a sneaker that's presenting again tonight. A special one this time. Yeah, a real special one from me, because loads of people have been asking for this. So this is my top 10 alternative distros from the last 12 months. Oh yes, indeedy. Past 12 months, my alternative distros, not anybody else's. So at number 10, we have Unity Linux. Unity, you know the one I mean. Here we go. 5531, we get the picture. Yeah. Now, Unity Linux has got better and better and better every time I get a new release. From humble beginnings, and I wasn't really pleased with it, now you can basically do whatever you like. You get the base package and install whatever you want on top. Hunky Dory, Super Duper, what more can you ask for, really, in the day? But that's my number 10, really, and it, it deserves number 10. It's getting really, really, really good. It's easy to use, and that's one of the things I really like about it. So I hope you do too. So anyway, the next one is number 9, Chameleon OS. Mm. Now, this is still an alpha, by the way. Now, you know Camino S, I've done, these are all the videos I've done on it. The reason I like this is because you can just change the skin so easy. It's, I know you can do it other ways, etc, etc. But if you're going to do something for somebody who's not used to Linux and they want to feel comfortable, this is probably the best one for them to start with. If you can get the drivers for it, especially for wireless. But if they work, it's fine. Bearing in mind you can have whatever background you want, or a desktop. I mean, there's a dark one, there's KD, there's everything you can really want, really. So, yeah, that's number nine. Really nice. Give it a good try. It's easy, bleeding, peasy. Oh, yes, indeed. Number eight. So, Ubuntu 10.10. Then 10. you're saying, that's an alternative. Well, it is really when you think about it, isn't it? Now, Ubuntu is really, it's not as light as some of the others, but it's clean, simple. And I think when a new one comes out of Ubuntu, which would be 11.04, which will come with the XFC 4.8 which is very nice indeed. A lot of you will like it even more than you do now. I'll be doing a video on that soon anyway, don't worry about that. If only they could sort the bleeding sound, epoxy sound, I'll be very, very happy. That's, that's one of the only bad things about it, really, is the sound. Okay, number seven, the first of a couple of pups. Number seven is Wary 5. Now, Wary's one of Barry's babies, and it's for older hardware, basically. Lupu's doing all the newer stuff, Wary is for older hardware, so if you've got a really old system and you just want to get it running for to do stuff at the end of the day, Wary is the one to go for. Now it's got quite a few wireless drivers and you can download quite a few wireless drivers for it as well. But it runs really, really super fast and I think it deserves its position as I've just put it. Because it is really quick for we for you know for old machines. And that's why it's got its position. So I like it anyway. This is just my opinion on where they should be. And the last one was. Anyway, may change soon. You never know next month. Number six, Aptosid. Now, Aptosid, as you know, is Debian based. So it comes with XFCE. Another XFCE. See, it's still quite popular, you know, and I didn't think it was. It was just me. Now, Aptosid is pure Debian and runs super hot fast really 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 fast it's got quite stable now so i'm really happy with it and a lot of you are too i know a lot of you are using it for its own service as well i think and it runs really super fast and it's nice and it's debian yeah what more can i say super fast oh lovely super simple xfce so there's not much more you can do with that nice next number five is saline os Say Dino is another Debian one, and you're saying, why is this alternative? Well, because it's small and it's good at the end of the day. Really nice interface, as you can see. Simple. Is that XFC again, by any chance? It could be, couldn't it? Yes, it could. Nice little bar down the bottom with everything you really need to use down there. All the synaptics there, XFC, settings managers, all down there. It's nice to lay that. It's fast. They're working on it. Real nice, you know. It's only recently been released, so everything is in there and it's nice. I like it. Do you like it? I think you like it. I like it. Nice. Number four. Got to be there, innit? Puppy 5.2. Well, Puppy 5.2 has come on leaps and bounds. Over this year, Puppy has just gone whoosh. If you put this on a brand new machine, you won't be able to keep up with its speed at the end of the day. There's not an application you really can't get for it. Yes, there's some that you can't. But there's lots that you can. You can do desktop screen recording, should I say. Edit your videos, do your music, anything you really want. Yes, it runs as root, but if you're happy doing it, it's nice. And it's a quite an easy start for users who want to use Linux for the first time from a live CD. Or just install it to a USB. 
nice and easy. Comes with loads of applications already on that small 120 odd mic disc. Yeah, nice. Number three, the only Arch one I'm here, Archbang Linux. Right, Archbang Linux comes over from Crunchbang, so you get the bang bit if you like banging under arches, so it's really good. As you can see, simple Archbang or Crunchbang that's set out, and it works really, really fast, but with all the Arch repositories. Now, when I first got the first version of this, I wasn't too impressed, but when this one came out, which is an earlier one, so we're looking around about September, I think it was, it was just ten times better. The latest one is even quicker, although I don't like the interface so much myself, and it's got a new X server, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, can't ever think, can you? No, you can't ever think, no. But yeah, I like you, and I hope you like you too, but that's that number there. What number two? See, you knew it was going to be in there, yeah. MacPup 511. John Pritt and the boys was worked really hard to get this one out. It nearly didn't even arrive. I'll be really honest with you, it nearly didn't even get there. So, you know what I mean? Now, this is the only decent Enlightenment desktop distro you can actually use from the disk. Let's be honest. All the others are way behind at the moment. Way, way, way behind. And the new one, which is going to be due out quite soon, will probably blow your shocks off. Not your shocks off, your socks. I must have some funny science tonight. But yeah, it's really super cool. And if you want to give E17 or Enlightenment Desktop a go, this is the one to go for. And you can do it from a live CD. It's basically puppy behind it. So if you've used it before, you'll know it. Now, number one. And you'll say, no way. Well, yeah, number one, in my opinion, is Tiny Core Linux. Over the past 12 months, they've come from being okay to being super bleeding duper. You can get anything you want for it, basically, any desktop do anything you want of it and for 10 meg download and it runs on a disc you can't really argue with that well you could but i'm not letting you you can't argue with that the only thing i would like to see is a gui install thing even if you have to download it and that would make it super super even do better forever that's me then anyway tiny Linux is the number one for now all i'm going to say is sneaky linux going out